from my understanding, and I've never been up here in the winter time, but uh, they can get up to 40 feet of snow or something like that. It's, it, it buries the building, obviously. The only way up here is through Snowcat. After all the arms are installed on the monopole, there will be a, an FRP grid of beams connecting each arm horizontally and vertically. And then the, uh, the fiberglass panels will fit and be uh, bolted to those beams. Uh, yeah, it'll, it'll cover the whole tower. It'll be a complete shroud. I designed the structure uh, up the mountain here. The problem we had was uh, icing of the antenna on the existing tower, which caused a lot of damage to the antennas and a lot of outages. I was asked to design something to cover the tower to protect it, protect it from icing. And this tower is critically important to our infrastructure. It has to be able to shut off circuit breakers in a tenth of a millisecond to protect very expensive equipment, substations, northern transmission lines. It's, it's critically important. The guy climbing up and down the tower, putting bolts together, um, hanging steel. There's a lot of stuff in the way and a lot of, a lot of tight spaces to squeeze around and try and get comfortable but uh, it's a fairly comfortable tower to work on. It's, I'm comfortable up there. I have a good time working on it. And uh, yeah, it's fun. It's fun for me. Yeah, we had to get that side by side because the uh, first year that we came up here, it was uh, driving hydro trucks up and the road just beat you up. Uh, after a week, two weeks of riding up in that truck, your, your innards felt like they'd been shaken pretty good. Uh, it was hard on the trucks, hard on tires. Um, the side-by-side -side, uh, has managed to get us up the mountain in half the time that you would with the truck. The truck, you're looking at about a 45 minute trip up and down, up one way. And with the side-by-side, uh, -side, you're looking at about a 15, 20 minute, 20 minute ride.